Hello students, in the last class we have learnt uh, the preparation of uh, cyclopentanone from uh, adipic acid okay that is by taking uh, calcium salt of adipate okay and then subjecting to dry distillation that is by heating we have obtained water cyclopentanone right so I have told you that whenever we require a 5 carbon cyclic ketone then we have to take water uh, one carbon extra that is water here we have taken adipic acid which is having six carbon atom and now we are having the question that is how do you prepare cyclopropanone from a calcium salt of carboxylic acid now as I have told you that we require cyclopropanone it is a three carbon cyclic ketone so therefore it is very much essential for us to take a four carbon cyclic compound that is calcium succinate let us try to understand so this compound is calcium succinate So when calcium succinate is subjected to dry distillation that is by heating so we have to remember that there is a loss of calcium carbonate okay and the remaining part is nothing but CH2 single bond CH2 and uh, this bond is going to be connected to this carbonyl group so therefore we write C double bond O plus loss of calcium carbonate and this compound is cyclopropanone so students next we are having the sixth method of preparation of aldehydes that is aldehydes by reductive ozonolysis of alkenes so alkenes when treated with the O3 that is ozone in the presence of a solvent like a carbon tetrachloride or chloroform or glacial acetic acid pure form of acetic acid is called glacial acetic acid and we will be having an intermediate compound called as ozonoid which is highly unstable and this compound on treatment with zinc and water undergoes reductive cleavage so reductive cleavage means one of the oxygen atom of the ozonoid compound will be lost to give two molecules of aldehyde or a ketone or a mixture of the two depending upon the nature of the alkene so I have taken the example of the alkene and that is a symmetrical alkene so the compound name is ethene which is having two carbon and four hydrogen and it is treated with uh, ozone O3 in the present of a solvent that is carbon tetrachloride or we we can take a chloroform also that is CHCl3 now this O3 molecule will be added uh, on the double bond of this alkene in such a way such that we will be having a ozonoid and that ozonoid is written in this in this manner so these are the uh, hydrogen atom which are connected to this carbon atom so the next is one oxygen is here second oxygen is here and we are having a carbon and this carbon is connected with the third oxygen and these two are connected in this manner so I'll write here one more H and one more H now the cleavage reaction takes place in such a manner such that this is ozonide O Z O N I D E so this molecule when treated with zinc and water cleavage will be taking place in this manner so this bond will be cleaved and this bond will be cleaved now here we have to understand that right so this half bond will be forming a bond here 
and uh, this half bond will be forming a bond here similarly so this half bond will be forming a bond here and this half bond will be forming a bond here so altogether we can find out that this oxygen is going outside so that is nothing but reduction removal of oxygen is called as reduction and at the same time we can see that here already one bond is here so one more bond is forming and similarly we are having here one bond so one more bond will be formed between this carbon and oxygen so i can write it as h single bond c and a hydrogen so this bond will be represented single bond with oxygen so one more new bond has been formed between carbon and oxygen that is represented here since after this decomposition of this ozonide we are having the same part that is I, I can show you that this part is here now right so the same part is here so even we can see that this hydrogen and this carbon along with this is having the same part here so altogether we are having a two molecules of formaldehyde so in the next example that is a propene prop 1 in when treated with ozone in the presence of ccl4 this ozone molecule o3 is added across this double bond let us write it so we are having here ch3 this carbon is linked with this carbon right and this carbon is having one hydrogen here and the double bond is converted into that ozonide so first oxygen this is the second oxygen and this is the third oxygen and the remaining that is we are having a carbon here and to this carbon the two terminal hydrogens are here so this compound is nothing but ozonide and this compound when treated with zinc and water it will be undergoing a reductive cleavage so let me write that reductive cleavage so this part is cutting here and this bond is breaking here so remaining part is we are having a new bond formation here right similarly we are having one more new bond formation here right so this oxygen is lost in the form of reductive cleavage now you can see that this ch3 is connected with this carbon here and this carbon is having a linkage with this oxygen so one more new bond has been formed between this carbon and oxygen and at the same time this carbon is having one hydrogen here so therefore i can write it as ch3 single bond c so already one bond is there with oxygen so this is the new bond that has been formed and one hydrogen so on one part we have got the aldehyde that is ethanol two carbon aldehyde that is ethanol which is also called as acetaldehyde and the one more part that is left behind so we can see that here the hydrogen is here this bond is connected with this carbon and this carbon is connected with this hydrogen already one bond is present here so one more new bond will be formed here i hope you can see this part which has been represented by half headed arrow mark so therefore that molecule is nothing but formaldehyde or simply called as one carbon aldehyde called as methanol m-e-t-h-a-n-a-l in the next example students here we are having an alkene and uh, the name of this compound is but to in so this compound when uh, treated with o3 in the presence of the solvent uh, ch cl3 the ozone molecule that is o3 molecule is going to add across this double bond in such a way such that we are having the intermediate ozonoid so i can write it here as ch3 c hydrogen oxygen second oxygen third oxygen and the remaining part is having here c which is having one hydrogen and one c h3 now this ozonoid molecule is undergoing a reductive cleavage so therefore it can be cleaved in this manner in the presence of the solvent water and zinc h2o so this half bond which is represented by 
half headed arrow mark and similarly this half headed arrow mark which are responsible for the formation of new bond between this carbon and this oxygen atom similarly this half bond is forming one complete bond and this half bond between this carbon and this oxygen atom and meanwhile this oxygen is going outside so the products are you can see that now this ch3 is linked with this carbon atom and this carbon atom is linked with hydrogen already one bond is present here so one more new bond is going to form between this carbon and this oxygen so therefore the product is ch3 c double bond o and one hydrogen and the other product is that here we are having hydrogen it is connected with this carbon so this carbon is here and this carbon is linked with ch3 that is methyl group already one bond is here so one more new bond is formed between this carbon and oxygen so therefore that product is also the same product ch3 single bond c double bond o and h so we are getting two molecules of ethanol e t h a n a l i hope you got the students now similarly we are having one more example students which is an alkene and the name of this compound is 1 2 3 and 4 so therefore it is a four carbon the root word is but but at second position we are having a methyl group similarly at third position also we are having a methyl group so therefore the name of this compound is 2,3 dimethyl but 2 in 2,3 dimethyl but 2 in and now when o3 that is ozone is added across this double bond so we can write the structure of that part now so that becomes ch3 c ch3 oxygen atom oxygen one more oxygen and here c CH3 CH3 and this bond now when it is subjected to cleavage in the presence of zinc and water so we can cut this molecule in this manner so this oxygen is going outside this is forming a half bond here and this is forming a half bond here and similarly the same thing is happening in the adjacent side also so we can see that ch3 is here so ch3 single bond c this is again ch3 right already one bond is here now one more bond will be what forming here so therefore the same thing is present on adjacent side also you can see here ch3 this is a carbon atom and again ch3 already one bond is here so one more new bond is going to be formed between this carbon and oxygen so all together i can write it as two molecules of ch3 single bond c double bond o and ch3 so the name of this compound is acetone or simply called as propenone so now there is an important point to understand from all these four example students so here i would like to say that so with respect to this example right so here you can see that this carbon atom student so this is having two hydrogen first hydrogen and second hydrogen what i want to say that is if the carbon atom which is involved in double bond is having two hydrogen then the product will be always a formaldehyde that we have to remember right so since uh, this carbon is also having water two hydrogen atoms so therefore we are getting a two molecules of formaldehyde but in case of the second example here students 
so here what happens one of the carbon atom which is involved in double bond is having only one hydrogen but if you see the another carbon atom here which is having two hydrogen so therefore the one which is having one hydrogen it will be aldehyde other than formaldehyde so the product here i have written here you can see that it becomes what ethanol but the carbon atom which is having two hydrogen so therefore that becomes a formaldehyde or simply called as methanol right students so in the third example you can see that here both the carbon atoms so even this carbon atom and even this carbon atom both are having one one hydrogen right so therefore it is an aldehyde other than formaldehyde since there are two carbon atoms so this is one carbon and this is one carbon so therefore we are having the products that is what two molecules of ethanol but in the next example if you see if you see students the carbon atom that is the second carbon atom and the third carbon atom which are not having any hydrogen so therefore the product is what a ketone so all i want to say that if the alkene which is undergoing ozonolysis uh, if it is having at least one hydrogen then it is aldehyde other than formaldehyde if the doubly bonded carbon atom bears two hydrogen then the product will be formaldehyde and if the carbon atom which is involved in double bond does not contain any hydrogen then it will be giving always acetones not acetone ketone so the next method is that uh, the seventh method student so in this case we are going to prepare the aldehydes from alkynes that is the triple bonded hydrocarbons and here we are actually going to add water that is water hydration and the name of the reaction is kucherov's reaction k u c h e r o v apostrophe s kucherov's reaction in this reaction students alkynes are getting hydrated that is we are going to add water across the triple bond with the mixture containing 40% of dilute H2SO4 and 1% of HgSO4. HgSO4 is called as mercuric sulfate. When we treat this alkanes with this mixture, we are getting an enol intermediate and already we know that enol is an intermediate which contains double bond as well as functional group OH. So therefore it undergoes a tautomerizes to give water aldehyde. Now we are having an example here students that is uh, two carbon uh, alkyne that is acetylene which is also called as what ethane and here we are going to add H2O in the presence of 40% dilute H2SO4 and 1% of HGSO4. The reaction is going to uh, follow according to Markunikov's rule that is since we are having the alkyne that is a symmetrical alkyne so of this H2O H plus and OH minus you can add anywhere because the alkyne is symmetrical so therefore what I can do is I will write here H C and to this I am writing one hydrogen and the triple bond is converted into double bond why because these unsaturated compounds undergo addition reaction during addition reaction triple bond is converted into double bond and the second carbon atom which is having here hydrogen right and to this we are having here one OH group so I have already told you that this is an enol which is having what uh, the double bond uh, as well as the functional group uh, OH is it clear students so therefore what we can see that this OH will be undergoing what uh, shifting of electrons when the bond is forming between carbon and oxygen a double bond is created between carbon and oxygen because at the same time this carbon becomes pentavalent so therefore this bond will be migrating towards the next carbon in the form of negative charge and this negative charge is taking this hydrogen which has expelled in the form of water in the form of H plus so therefore the product will be now H C H one more hydrogen will be here and the single bond and this will be converted into double bond O and one hydrogen so this is nothing but two carbon atom here is one carbon here is another carbon so this is called as ethanol E T H A N A L or simply it is called as acetaldehyde so the fact we should remember here students is that the alkyne whatever we have taken here it is the first member of alkyne with the two carbon because it is a triple bonded so the first member itself is ethane and the product what we have obtained here is acetaldehyde so therefore the limitation of this reaction is that uh, we cannot prepare formaldehyde by this Kucherov's reaction so I have just written the complete reaction okay earlier it was an explanation now I have written the complete format of the reaction where it will be undergoing tautomerization 
in the second example students here that example is uh, prop 1 y in in fact it is nothing but a derivative of acetylene that is uh, one of the hydrogen of that acetylene is uh, replaced by ch3 group so therefore it is a derivative of uh, acetylene and at the same time one has to remember that students it is an unsymmetrical alkene if i cut this molecule into two equal halves we cannot find that what are the same side so we cannot find the same groups on either side of the uh, functional group so therefore it is an unsymmetrical alkyne and uh, this h2o that is hydration we have to do so the h plus is here and oh minus is here so this reagent is going to add across this triple bond according to markovnikov's rule that is positive part of the reagent is added to the triply bonded carbon containing more number of hydrogen atoms so this part is added here so when this hydrogen is added to this carbon atom obviously the pi bond should have been shifted to this carbon because at that part this carbon will be having negative charge a negative charge will be seeking a positive charge when this carbon is having negative charge obviously this carbon will be shortcoming of electron so therefore this carbon will be having positive charge and this positive charge is to be attracting towards that negative charge that is what a OH so therefore what we can write is that CH3 single bond C to this we are having OH group here triple bond is converted into double bond and this carbon is having two hydrogen atom so therefore we are having OH functional group here right and what an alkene functional group here so therefore the intermediate is called as enol which will be undergoing tautomerization so when it undergoes tautomerization we can see that this bond will be migrating to this carbon at that time this carbon becomes pentavalent so therefore this bond will be migrating to this carbon in the form of negative charge and this negative charge will be taking this hydrogen which has been lost in the form of uh, H plus so I can write the product as now CH3 C double bond O then single bond and then I can write CH3 so you can see students that derivative of acetylene which is also called as a homologous of acetylene is it homologous of acetylene when subjected to hydration using 40 percent dilute h2so4 and 1 percent mercuric sulfate we are getting a ketones okay students to sum up this uh, seventh method that is preparation of uh, aldehydes uh, from alkynes what we can see that acetylene will be giving acetaldehyde limitation is that formaldehyde cannot be prepared by this method addition of water to that alkene will always be taking according to Markovnikov's rule if the alkyne is unsymmetrical in nature and a homologous of acetylene will be giving ketones fine students so we'll stop this class here we'll be continuing in the next class if you feel good after watching this video kindly like the video share the video and kindly subscribe to my channel Thank you students.